This is the Football Coaches Show on KLBY Television, OpenSpacesSports.com. I'm Rich Epp with Head Coach Randall Rath, the Oakley Plainsman. And Coach, what do you expect this year? Well, we're excited. You know, a new year, and every year we uh, get started, we always tell our kids the same thing. They're going to set their identity on this upcoming season. All right, uh, folks, if you want to catch more with Coach Randall Rath, all you need to do is go to OpenSpacesSports.com for the remainder of today's interview. Coach, as you take a look at uh, the upcoming season, uh, uh, first of all, talk about numbers uh, and how many kids you got out. Are you happy with the numbers? We are. You know, we've got, we had 46 kids show up this morning, and for us, that's that's better than what we've had the last five years. So, number-wise, uh, we're excited about that. Um, you always have a few kids you want out that, that might decide to take a different route. And, uh, you know, this time of their life, a special time, and they can create memories and, and good things and be on a good football team, we hope. You know, uh, those numbers are uh, really good, I think, uh, and you allude to that, uh, because uh, when I look across the spectrum of the Northwest Kansas League, a conference that you're leaving, um, it's a league that has seen uh, schools basically dwindle in numbers. Mm -hmm. Uh, Communities have dwindled in numbers. You're moving to a new conference primarily because of that, isn't it? It is some of it, you know, and you know our numbers are dwindling too. But we just we want to stay at eleven man football team and be competitive there. And and for us to do that, and, and with wrestling, uh, we feel it's a, a good move for us. Uh, that'll be next season. So uh, actually, when you take a look uh, later on this fall and you get, put the schedule together, your schedule will change to some degree, won't it? It will. You know, we'll play all those schools. Uh, uh, the 2A schools, depending maybe on our districts, but we will play them. Um, so it will change our, our it'll change the whole schedule for us. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself now, uh, you know, five years ago, two years ago, maybe even, uh, if someone would have said, how hey, about Oakley and Smith Center playing on a regular season basis? I mean, uh, you played mm-hmm. them in the playoffs before, right. never the regular season. Uh, Coach Bard, of course, is retired now. They start their new identity, I guess, so to mm-hmm. speak. But a Phillipsburg and a Norton uh, will be a good uh, opportunity for good competition. Right, right. And we played them uh, this year as well, Phillipsburg. Uh, we've played them in the past, one of those two schools. Um, but we'll, we'll be playing all of them now. And, uh, you know, I think this new league, uh, um, they're talking about the travel was some, uh, you know, a conflict for them for 11 and 8 man. But, you know, to me, they're still going to travel. So for us, we're going to travel as well. But St. Francis is still going to travel all the way to Dighton and Joaquini. And uh, we're going to we're going to travel, you know, to Phillipsburg Smith Center. So really, it has uh, it's made the traveling a little bit more. But uh, other than that, I think the competition just for us to, to do things for our kids and give them a good opportunity is kind of what we're looking at. How uh what kind of has gone through your mind about leaving the Northwest Kansas League? This is a league, one of the rich traditional leagues in the in the state of Kansas, frankly, uh, that you grew up playing in at St. Mm-hmm. Francis. I've been a part of it broadcasting since 72, uh, and it's just not the same, is it? It's not. It, uh, in my opinion, it's not the Northwest Kansas League. Uh, you know, it's very frustrating, uh, but there were some administrators that wanted this move, and, uh, you know, uh, I... I think uh, we were the only school that voted against it, and we were we wanted Leota to come in and then see what else would happen. But the, we got uh, the constitution was amended, and then they voted these other schools in. and And for us, they were all eight man football teams, and uh, you know, good schools. They still had good competition in in basketball, but uh, the wrestling is is uh, next to none. And uh, so for us, again, to do what's best for our kids, we felt it's a good move. When you take a look at your football team now for this year, you mentioned 40-some kids out. Who's going to be your leaders? Our seniors, and we don't know which ones. we got a lot of them that can be. Um, we're hoping that all of them will be a leader. But, uh, you know, Darius Hurl uh, uh, is our quarterback, and we expect a lot of leadership out of him. He played last year as, as his first year. We thought he got better all through the season, and uh, we expect him to – come in here he's worked hard this summer been to some quarterback skill camps and uh you know ryan coon uh, dylan gassman two juniors that got a start last year as well we don't mind them being leaders uh, they work hard uh, ryan looks good he's lost about 25 pounds and uh he looks bigger than he was last year just because he's better fit and and uh you know they know the kids that work hard the rest of them and those are our kids that we expect to be the leaders 
You do open up with a 4A school, Colby. Uh, last year, uh, the game here in Oakley went right down to the wire. Uh, uh, what do you expect in that opening game, and, uh, and, and what does that set as far as the opening three or four games is concerned playing a big school like that oh we're you know we know it's good competition like you said it's for a high school and uh, the numbers have dwindled in our our school as well so uh eight or nine years ago there wasn't such a big discrepancy in in numbers but there, it's huge right now but you know that's okay uh we want our kids to compete and and we know colby has a good program and and uh, you know exciting to see where we're at uh, at the beginning of the season, and and to play good people just makes you better down the road. And it never uh, it doesn't really matter where you start and how you start. That's although right. every coach wants to win, <laughs> but it's always how you finish. It is, it is, and that, that's something we talk about a lot in our program. Well, coach, uh, good luck to you. And by the way, Open Spaces Sports will be covering your games throughout the entire season, athletically, your entire uh, schedule throughout the year. We look forward to it. I thank you a lot, Rich, and right. and uh, we appreciate what you guys do for us. All right, Randall Rath, our guest here. As we uh, are on the Farm Bureau Coaches Preseason Show, reporting from Oakley, Kansas, this is Rich Ed.